And Chris. Guys, shortly before 7 o'clock this morning, Florida State tweeted this photo with the caption, Today we lost a legend, but you never lose a legacy. Rest in peace, Coach Bowden. Bowden lost his battle with pancreatic cancer. Allison Posey in Tallahassee tonight with how the Hall of Fame coach truly wants to be remembered. Robert Bobby Bowden was born in 1929 in Birmingham, Alabama. Rheumatic fever can find him to his home for over a year a year where his love for college football began. Bowden listened to Alabama games on the radio. He would play for them for a year before transferring to what is now known as Samford University. His first appearance in Tallahassee as an assistant coach in 1962. He'd return to Florida State almost 15 years later, and he'd never leave. I was here so long. Gosh, it's hard to believe, 40 years. 40 years I was here. In 34 seasons as head coach of the Seminoles, Bowden had just one losing season. He won two national titles and 12 conference championships. And the driver behind it all, his faith. A lot of times you say, uh, should I quit? Should I do something else? I'm not, I'm not winning. I'm not doing then, then that faith would always bring me back. A faith that's taken him all over the country to speak to all different kinds of people. The message for Bowden, without faith, there would be no football. And that's what he's trying to instill to the hundreds of young men that pass through his program. I think one thing you enjoy most about coaching is the relationship you have with the boys when they raise family and raise children and you hadn't seen them in 10 years, five years. I get letters all the time from boys. You know, I coached 57 years. I get letters from boys I coached 40, 50 years ago. None of them mentioned football. A philosophy that's won the heart of fans. A spot in the College Football Hall of Fame and the inaugural Governor's Medal of Freedom in 2021. I could not have received a greater honor than this. An honor and one he's proud to share with Florida State and with Tallahassee, his home. After I retired, we didn't want to, we didn't want to, want to be but one place. And that was right here. Right here. And that was Allison Posey reporting. During his 34 years coaching Florida State, Bowden built the Seminoles into a national power, winning 12 ACC championships and two national titles. He was selected to the College Football Hall of Fame in 2006. Last month, the Bowden family shared that Coach had been diagnosed with a terminal medical condition. It was also then in a statement that Coach Bowden said he's always tried to serve God's purpose for his life on and off the field and that he was prepared for what is to come. The 91-year-old was hospitalized last October after he tested positive for COVID-19. The positive test came a few days after returning to his Tallahassee home from a lengthy hospital stay for an infection in his leg. Tonight, some of his former players and many who coached against him are reflecting on his life and legacy. I was overwhelmed with grief and, and, um, and thankfulness because um, I, I was able to be a part of that man's legacy and, and his thoughts of me as a player um, really pushed me into what I'm doing every day now. I'm as a man, as a father, and as a business guy. And um, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for him. He couldn't be more genuine of a person, him and Ann. We spent, obviously we, we coached against each other, but that was compared to the time we spent together on those Nike trips and a dear friend and one of the greatest people I've ever met in my life.